Italy and Germany, very much the favourites, but Norway in lane one, including in their quartet at 42, their former world and Olympic champion. There he is at number two, Alf Hansen. And that's a very even start from all six crews there. And noticeable there that the crew from the GDR all looking to their right at the Italians. And it's quite clear that these two crews are going to watch each other very carefully. There we see the difficulties of handling a boat at speed. Eight skulls dipping into the water. They've got to be handled very, very neatly and quickly by these four big men. But at this stage of the race, it's the Italians with two of the Olympic and Democratic Republic. Holland in lane two also in contention and rowing really quite nicely nice steady level stroke from the dutch there as we come to the first time check at 500 meters and in fact 127.60 is the time we have and that's a very quick start by the italians they've gone well out They've been matched there there's the crew from the german democratic republic and on the other side the crew from the netherlands this crew is probably one and italy as we come to 1000 meters italy just about half a length holland in third there and then the next three crews with again not much between them and still in leverage all about 94 95 kilos in weight and the confidence of the dutch must be growing on the far side because they're certainly not overawed by these two crews no and they're not an experienced crew two men who finished eighth in the olympics but here are the, the technicians here probably the nicest looking of the quads in the field the italian quad making it look very easy like anything else if it looks easy it's probably been done very well absolutely beautiful technique very easy and the italians quickest through that third 500 meters in fact the time for that third quarter 133 25 and they're really trying to apply the pressure because it's still pretty tight and any one of the first sweden in fourth place in lane five not too far away and as you can see here as we come into the last couple of hundred meters there's the bow of Boat number four, that's the German Democratic Republic. Then, in the blue, the Italians. Look at the Dutch on the far side. They really do look strong. The German Democratic Republic just reached strained, and now the Swedes also coming into contention, and nearest to it from Italy. And they've had a good day. The Avignon already with a gold medal, and the Dutch are really challenging them, and the Swedes coming up on this side. And the German Democratic Republic, they're going to get nothing here. The Italians hanging on the Dutch are charging and maybe the Dutch have got it and the Dutch have taken it they've stolen it from the Italians and would you believe the Swedes have moved into bronze medal position and the German Democratic Republic get absolutely nothing and the Dutch I think they never believed it was possible no I don't think so I think they, as you as you said earlier David there and uh, just to prove that there are supporters from all the countries a little bit of Dutch tradition here as the crew wait to be called in to receive their gold medal championships and their confirmation holland take the gold italy the silver